This is a request item. And this is a catalog task associated with the request item. So what happens if you want to add a work note on the request item? You want to notify those that are assigned to the catalog task. So a work note's been added. What happens if perhaps you want to do it the other way around? You want to add a work note to the catalog task and that goes up to the written to perhaps provide further communication. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do that with two business rules. So if you want to find out how, stick around and find out. And welcome back to another video so we've seen briefly what we want to try and achieve we want to achieve this communication between request items and catalog tasks now in reality you can do this um, for any um, I guess any tasks based record where you've got child tasks underneath it right so I don't know where you've got change um, a change request and you've got multiple change tasks or perhaps an incident where you've got incident tasks that are associated this is really uh, to aid communication between those that are assigned tasks to those that are assigned the parent ticket thing, right? So let's go and see how that's done. And I have mentioned it's two business rules and they are quite simple. So it's going to, let's go and find those. So we'll start on the written level. That written, I keep saying written, I shouldn't really, request item. So here we've got one that's triggered on that request item and we've got an after business rule. We don't need to do it on before. Um, so we're, we're going for after we have it when work note changes active is true and updated by is not system so I'm not interested in anything that the system um, is putting on the work notes so there's not a person called the system by the way it's it's uh, if there's any scripts that are run um, I don't know any scheduled jobs that are perhaps updating work notes I don't know why you do it but anyway the point is we don't want to include those so now we look at um, the script itself into the advanced tab, which is where all the fun starts, right? The first thing we're going to do is get the sys ID of our current record, which in this case is our request item. Then we're going to do a glide query where we go and get, in this case, the active catalog tasks that are associated to that request item. And you can include different conditions in there. So you could do, uh, I don't know, when it's in a particular state or a particular assignment group. Um, so you can have a play around with that if you want to, but I'm going to get everything. Then when we found we've got something, so we've got something at least, right? Because you could have multiple tasks associated to this uh, request item, and you probably would. The way we found we've got at least something, we then go and get the work notes of our current record. So this is um, the work notes that are in the request item. We're now going to cycle through each one of those tasks that we found. So let's say we found five. We're going to go around this five times. In this case, it's just once. And we're going to look at, has that task got a work note? Or has it got a work note that's different to the one that's currently on the request item? Okay, that's what this bit's doing, essentially. Next thing we're going to do, this is really simple. We're going to update the work notes to be the same as the request work notes. So current or cur or ne, cur or ne is, where, <laughs> is where the variable we declared on line 13. And we're going to update the record. Simple, right? So that takes us from the request item down to the task. So let's have a look the other way around. Is the is it going to look similar? Let's have a look. So let's find our request. A request. Our business rule on the service catalog, the catalog task table. So here we've got after again. Work note changes updated by is not system. This time I haven't included active. Um, I just to be honest think I forgot. But I could add it in, right? So, and active is true. So we go to advanced. And here we go. So now we're doing a another glide record query where we, we're getting the um, request item. So we're on the catalog task. We want to get the record of the request item. There's a few different ways you can do that, in all honesty. I'm doing it this way. Um, this is me uh, on the glide record on the, the request item table. We're getting... Um, the, the the value of a request item on uh, our catalog task. Hopefully that makes sense. It did in my head anyway, so I'm hope you're keeping up. We're declaring our variable again, current uh, winner, current winner, which is the work notes. And now we're on the catalog task. This is the work notes or the last entry in the work notes of the catalog task. We're doing the same logic we applied there and the if statement, and we're simply just updating 
the record again. We're updating the written work notes to be the same as the catalog work notes. And we're updating. And there we have it. So we've now got two simple business rules where you can add a work note to um, the catalog. Sorry, the request item goes to the catalog tasks and one that goes backwards. So catalog tasks to request item. Now, of course, you can add where we've got here when to run. We've got work notes. You could add um, additional comments if you wanted to do that. You'd have to think about notifications going out so you don't duplicate notifications going from tasks and the parent thing as well. But you could do it based on um, either or or both. And that's entirely up to you in the use case that you're that you're looking at. There is another way, of course, you can do this. And I think I'm going to cover that on a different video. So those of you who watch my channel, um, I feel sorry for you, but I'm glad you've made it this far. Um, I'm a big fan of flow designer. Of course, you can do this all in a flow. Um, a lot of my videos are around flow. I do love flow designer, but sometimes I just like to write a bit of code, right? So I thought I'd show you this way and in the next video or in another video coming up soon, I'll show you the flow designer way. So we've got two kind of um, strings to our bow that we can use whenever the context. Is. Okay, so I think in the business, that's what they call a wrap. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. No hard sell. If you are subscribed, make sure you smash the bell icon. You'll get notified when I upload um, new videos just like this one. Until next time, happy low, no, happy coding on this one. Happy coding. See you soon.